Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm going to run through using the Framing and Mosaic wizard. Uh, it's something in Sequence Generator Pro. It is one of the optional extras, but I would I use it every time. I think it's fantastic. So we'll just close down that sequence. That's just the default one that opens up. If you go to Tools, Framing Mosaic wizard, this is the, the information that you put in. So I'm going to start with a well-known target that is M42. And I will set to fill the view of 2 degrees, as mine is about 1 degree or so. So I, it lets me have a wee bit of freedom. So I'll click Fetch and it'll go off and it'll download. Sometimes it takes a wee bit longer than that, it's just because I did a wee test run before I started this video. So you can just click and SG Pro will take a guess at what you need to cover that target. So down here at the bottom, number 4, I'm going to reduce this down to a single one by one. You can do mosaics and this is something I have fiddled with before and it is very, very powerful. If you go one by one, I'm going to move the, the center to where I want to center the image. And that is pretty much it. This is what it will try to do. I mean, there's a rotational aspect to it. I don't have a rotator, so it will just try to get the center of the image as close to this point as possible. So looking down through the information, this is all automatically populated from my um, equipment profile manager. So it'll, it's loading it in from this section here. Uh, whenever we go to create sequence, because I have a new sequence that has no real information in it, I'll use replace. I will untick auto rotate as I don't have a rotator. Uh, most people probably don't. And then we click OK. It will pop up this warning every time. That is about the fact that you have unticked auto rotate. Not much we can do about it. I wish I could actually disable this error message. So it's created two new targets and up comes my uh, sequence, the bare bones of it. One of the first things I will do is go to this gear wheel and I will tick slew to. My mount is set to set horizontally so mine is actually looking at the side of my house so what the sequence generator pro will do if you don't have this is that it will take an, a plate solve image of where your mount is pointed so in my case it will take a picture of the side of the house it won't be able to solve that image and the sequence will fail. Other people who have their mount pointed up towards Polaris in traditional home position, you might have more luck. But I like to just point this because I don't see the point of doing a plate solve at an arbitrary point. I'd rather it make a best guess at where the target is and then plate solve around that. You can set time constraints. I've done this before. It's, it is quite useful, especially if you've got multiple targets and you want to end at certain times. So that's done. So I'll run through a few more bits and pieces. I tend to, if I'm honest, whenever I'm setting up where it's going to dump all the images, I generally will create a new folder underneath this, and I just, just by habit, I will give it today's date. And that means every image I take in this one session will go into that folder. I do not know if there's a way to have it put different targets in different folders. I've never discovered that. So if we come down in then we will run our lights, and I'm not going to do it but I would say ISO 400. Looking at my previous data I think I would be shooting in around 3 minutes to get my ideal ADU and you can do whatever number you want and it will update you saying well there's 3 hours so I would say I would probably be going more than that weather permitting. You can delay the first, you can delay in between if you want to cool down, for me I I don't bother, I have a, a DSLR, so thermally I am a bit compromised. And that is pretty much it. So what we can do then is you can save that sequence. Um, I'm not going to just yet. Let's see what sort of time we have left here. So I'm pretty much out of time in that video. I will uh, I'll make another video, maybe adding some detail to this. Thanks for listening.